we continue reading the hidden path of devotion page 69 discussion went Vaidi performed along with Raganuga is superior to the performance of Vaidi alone So Tamal Krishna Maharaj is asking. Maybe Chandravali service. Ah, so I just read that there is no you don't uh, today Japanese translation is back channel. Ah back channel. Okay. okay. Just info please. Mm. Narayan Maharaj. No. It has been written in the Gopala Tapani Upanishad that Rukmini's marriage was performed in Matura. And therefore, some persons say that Rukmini is present there in Mathura as Krishna's queen. But this is against our Vaishnava principles. It is against our Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy to say that by following Vaidhi Bhakti, one will receive the same reward as one who is engaged in Vaidhi mixed with Raganuga. So, Vishwanath Chakravarti. Vaidhi mixed with Raganuga. Explain this. Uh, so Gurudev is asking us what is by the mix with Raganuga? Brother, listen. Listening. Mm. So Gorabani Prabhu, could you explain by the and mixing with Raganuga? So we know that by the based on rules, regulations, hmm? we know that by the bhakti is based on rules and regulations. So it's very fixed actually what you are doing, when you are doing. So you follow these rules, regulations. You may have feelings with this or not, but you are following. So Vaidhi means, first of all, you don't need any feelings, you just follow what is written in the Shastra. The Shastra, Shastra clearly discusses what you have to do in Vaidhi Bhakti. So when you follow this best, by the time, they there may arise some feelings. Actually, I remember one story just came out. Um, you know, Mila, Mila Alba. Uh, Al Do you know this story, Mila Alba? Maybe, no. Uh, Alba means a part, part incarnation of Vishnu. So Alba, Mila Alba was actually a thief. He was a blackish 
person and he was a thief. He was actually um, hearing about Vaidhi Bhakti, that Vaidhi Bhakti could bring him to one goal because he wanted to marry a girl. So he was actually following. He just had this goal that he wants to be with this girl. So that's why he followed these rules. And in Vaidhi, it may be also different cases why you follow. It's actually in Bhagavad Gita, it, it is described. Some they want to have release, some they want to have knowledge, some they, they, they have some goals. So Vaidhi is not without, uh, I would say, motivation. So you begin, and in the case of Nila, it was like this, Nila heard, if you serve Vaishnavas, Prasadam, this is very good. So he was actually stealing money, buying boga, offering, and then actually distributing Prasadam. Then after a while, when he did this, some emotions start, and this is now the point where the mixing is coming. Maybe it starts now that you have some emotions, and now he gets attachment to his goal, to his uh, ishta, feeling start. So now you're going actually on the path of Raga. Because Raga means you are really going into a relationship, right? If I'm wrong, please correct me. So, but still, you're following the path of Vaidhi. Because it's like a bridge. You, you need to have this base of Vaidhi still that you're stable. But emotions, or better to say, feelings, are actually now growing. You're getting attachment to special kind of relationship. And this is... Thank you. Thank you very much. So, this may, may be different way of mixing Raga and uh, Baidi and Raga Nuga. Baidi means, uh, so Gorabani Pabu say, following rule and regulation. In the back, we are thinking, Christian Supreme Personality of Godhead. That means Krishna's Almighty, very powerful. If we don't follow, he may be, he may punish it. So then so, sometimes if we do Bhaiji Bhakti, some fear is coming. And some pressure may come in, or oh, I have to follow, otherwise I, I'm punished. But the Raganuga Bhakti is completely free from awe and reverence. Actually, there is awe and reverence, but the Madhurya, Sweetness is covered on reverence. Means attachment and relationship is so strong. He or she may forget Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. So therefore, in in Raganuga platform, devotees think in the relationship. So therefore, the boat is thinking, oh, Krishna's my friend, Krishna's my son, 
Krishna's my lover. That is Raganuga. And real Raganuga is found in Braja, in Brindava. So the mixing point, what is the mixing? Mixing in me, my understanding is they, they feel some percent or certain percent Krishna is God, Krishna is Supreme Person God. Or we do bhakti, maybe some raga there, but there is some fear or some pressure for all, all and reverence. If, if there is that thing, then it may consider the mixing by the and Raganuga. So therefore, Nara Maharaj told us, forget Krishna as Supreme Personality of Godhead. Because we are following by the Bhakti. At first, we don't understand what, what Guru Dev is talking about. But slowly, slowly, we could understand. So if we forget Krishna Supreme Personality of Godhead, or in other words, if we, we don't have laga, feeling, enough feeling, then we may not uh, practice uh, pure laga nuga bhakti. That is uh, thinking. Guru Dev, could you help us? But for Rade, Rade. Uh -huh. Oh, somebody could help us. Yes. Um, I don't know if I can help, but I can yeah. add something. Please, uh, good that. Uh, to Jayananda, Dandavat to Gurudev. There's, there's, there's one more way of thinking about the difference between Raghunatha, uh, Raghunuga, pardon me, Raghunuga and Vaidhi Bhakti. And that is about where the motivation comes from, the desire or the energy. In Vaidhi Bhakti, the motivation to practice comes from outside. In Raganuga Bhakti, the motivation comes from inside. Radha. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very nice point. <clears throat> say, right, he said, this yes. is the point to move. Mm. Ping pong. I divide this dragon. Take the camera. Okay. So, um, is saying that. Um, Take this one. Why you not take this one? Take it. Oh. <laughs> Lo que yo siento what I feel es que esta unión is that this mixture of is in a process of ping pong unas veces adentro y otras veces afuera. sometimes inside sometimes outside Hasta que llega el momento till the moment que es tan dulce lo interno no. That the, the sweetness of the inner part que te quedas por misericordia sin causa. is so strong that it makes you stay by mercy without any cause. Guru 
of Radan Urtev. En lo interno. In, in, in the inner part. Radan Ugabat. Oh, Radan Ugabat. Jai Ho. That's it. Good. You want to say that? I say to you, you want to say? Ah, to me. I, you understand? I, I say at times. I actually shared something, but of course it's can be uh, it, it's a uh, it's a process. It's beginning somewhere and and it ends somewhere. So it's uh, it has so many different kind of uh, aspects actually. So that's why it's good to share on this point with many understandings. And uh, I just want to to start somewhere. So. Janana Maharaj was giving very nice explanation. Udava was giving very nice explanation here also. So actually, I think it gets more more clear that raga means really to go in a relationship. And in the beginning, it may be not pure. So there may be still coming the waves of uh, respect or reference and all this. And this is disturbing the the real uh, deepness of the raga in the beginning, but then it gets deeper. Then it's getting deeper and deeper and more clean. And it also, when the ego is, is going more and more, that means you don't care. You don't care anymore if he's God or not anyway. I love him or like this. So whatever he is, may, let's say, an example, you, you fall in love with somebody who is in a high position. And in the beginning, you may think, oh, no, it's not possible for me. I'm low, low class, such a person in such a high position how it's possible to have a relationship a loving relationship with this person it's it's it will be never possible so in the beginning it may be like this and then there's all reference and maybe also fear like this but when you're really in love you don't care it's not a question of the position of the person it's a question of your deepness of your love and you will do whatever is possible. You don't care to any circumstances. And you don't care to anything which is blocking. You just overjump. Then Rati will come. So, but in the beginning, and the ego is still there, you may fall back and think, no, no, it's not possible. Too high, too far away. So it may be, uh, like you said, ping pong of feelings. So sometimes you think, yes, I will do it. And sometimes you may think, no, I'm so fallen like, Raguna does in his prayers in Milap Kuzumanjali, you can hear that he has different moods. Sometimes he's praying, what I can do? I, I, I'm not at all qualified. How to reach? So he's not even praying to Radharani, he's actually praying to the dust of Brindavan, to Brindavan itself, to to Radhakund, because he thinks I'm too fallen to even pray directly to Radhakund. But then, in the next moment, he remembers how merciful Swami is, what are her qualities, 
and how you can understand the qualities of someone only if you love him <coughs> The deepness of your love let you understand the qualities. And in this moment, you skip all your thoughts of, I will never be able to do it because the mercy of my lover is so great. And then in this moment, he feels this connection again. So, <clears throat> this morning I was reading Nada Nasas Daniti, little bit. Anantas Baba is described a very interesting word. There is two kinds of devotees. Somehow, Lati already appeared. The devotee or someone does not does not appear lucky still. There are two kinds of devotee. So in other words, of course, different kind of lucky. But if we understand this Braja Rati. What is mean Rati? Nobody understands. We're sitting here. Okay. I have to explain that. Uh -huh. Okay. Lati means <coughs> say beginning of love. So, for example, man, I say boy and girl meet once. Sometimes some kind of loving feeling appear. Oh, I like him. I like her. It is uh, like a, like a bat, a sprout, kind of sprout. So kind of feeling, oh, I, I may love him, I may love her. This beginning of love. And that feeling is, is slowly, slowly developing. Yes. Then finally, we attain prema. Of course, you know, more higher prema also there. Sneha, mana, pranaya, raga, anuraga, baba, mahababa. But anyway, this lati, like a beginning of love, like a spread of love. So it's called lati, or sometimes say baba means loving feeling. So that means someone who has some attachment to the Ishta Deva. Uh, we, we say, say Uttaba Babu say, inside, from inside, automatically coming, oh, I love my Ishta Deva. This summer who appear in this lati. Or some person may not appear this lati. Then Ananda Swaba said, if someone who does not appear lati, he, he may play. Just praying, just ordinary praying. But uh, if someone who uh, someone who has lati already, 
he played very honestly, very strongly, like like Ragnar Das Gosson. So, if someone who does not appear ratty, that pipe may go ping pong. Also, Odo has some tendency to mix Laga, Nuga, Bhakti, and Vaiji patterns. So, <laughs> so, so Guru is asking, by the mix with Raganuga and dangerous. So he's asking us. Yes. So what is Raga and by the and mixing? This is yeah. so we want to hear. So you want to know what is the difference or what is the good and what is the good? Question is that you ask Samal Krishna Maharaj is asking what good Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay, okay. Andakaji, please ask asking question. Uh-huh. So we started, um, it is said, Narayan Maharaj said that Vaidhi performed along with Raganuga is superior to the performance of Vaidhi alone. So then Tamil Krishna Maharaj said, maybe this person will attain Chandravali's service. But Narayan Maharaj says no. It has been written in Gopal Tapani Upanishad that Rukmini's marriage was performed in Mathura. And therefore, some persons say that Rukmini is present there in Mathura as Krishna's queen. But this is against our Vaishnava principles. It is against our Vaishnava, Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy to say that by following Vaidhi Bhakti, one will receive the same reward as one who is engaged in Vaidhi mixed with Raganug. So here we stop. And then Guru Dev is saying, what is by the mix with Raganuga? What is it, Janandaji? Huh? What is it? I I we already <laughs> oh, okay. So we want to hear you. <laughs> by the mix with Raganuga. Okay. <coughs> I feel the um, it's um, when we when we mix something right, then interesting flavor comes out of it. So when we like prepare a nice meal, we have different ingredients, right? And we have to put all these ingredients a up in a perfect measurement together. If we put too much salt, then the food becomes salty. If we put too much chili, as we all know, then the stomach gets a little upset. <laughs> so, so we have to be very careful with exact to prepare a meal. <laughs> we have to know all the ingredients. So similarly on the path of bhakti, we have to be very careful how much why do we add to our Raganuga Bhajan? If we add too much, then it can become affect our bhakti 
very strongly. Now, how? If we go too much in rules and regulations, right? If we just concentrate on that, that we always focus on too much on the rules and regulations, then we also create some blockages. So I feel in, in, in our bhakti part, we have to let it also flow sometimes. And sometimes we need also uh, certain principles to follow, like, right? Like cooking prashad, honoring prashad, going for arti. These are all important ingredients for improving, increasing. So everything we do should be to increase our bhajan, our bhakti. I feel like this. So I, I, I think a mix is good. A mix is good, but the dosis is very important. And the inner in intention, like we had this also some, some weeks ago, I think we talked about the intention when we are performing any vaidi bhakti action, with which intention are we doing it? Which mood are we doing it? Like when we stand in front of Radha Mohan in Arti, when the Pujari is doing the Arti ceremony, so what feeling is there? Are we doing the Arti to the deity and we're doing our pranams? Or are we feeling that now the Lalita Saki is doing Arti after the Kunja pastime and she's handing over to Rupa. Rupa is doing Arti. Guru Manjari is doing Arti. And we can do also the Arti of the Yoga Lakshmi Shore. It's the, that intention we are having. So that's very important. So I feel the, the, the flavor, we have to be very uh, conscious about the ingredients, how much we add that the mixture becomes very good for favorable. If the mixture of Vaidhi and Raganuga is not favorable, then we should be alerted because um, Vaidhi has the power also to cover our Raganuga bhajan if we're too much into, into, into Vaidhi. But at the same time, I feel some things are very nice to add from a Vaidhi uh, ingredient. So like uh, like I said one time, get, why to get up early in the morning? Not necessary, you know, like we are Raganugas, we could also sleep longer, is also fine. But if I get up early, I can use more of the day to think, meditate on them. I can do more seva for them, I have more time for them, for for my Ishta Dev, right? So so this this is the I feel getting up in the morning has that favorable aspect. So it's always to keep a, a good a good balance. So I hope I hope it 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 was appropriate now. It fitted in. Sorry I was a little late. I went to Radha Kunst today to pay my obeisance. <laughs> so it just I just returned uh, uh, from that and uh, so going to Radha Kunt is also uh, externally, it's also part of the Angas, no? Like go to the Holy Dhams, pay your respect. But we feel why we go to Radha Kunt, no? Because our Kundeshwari is taking there a bath. And it was so hot today, my God. We went exactly at 12.30, we reached there. It was so hot. But then I said, actually, Guru, they've always said, you always will stay there until midday. It doesn't matter. So I thought, why to go in the morning? Let's go straight midday, because that's the time she's there. She's then why to go in the morning and wait, just go there and feel. <laughs> so sorry for any, any mistake now from my side. But I was told to say something, so I tried. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe can I add on to this? Lovely mixture uh, story from my, my, uh, yes. my dear. There's something very beautiful and special about <clears throat> about um, the way we talk about the difference between Vaidhi and <clears throat> Raganuga, what, which is why it's important to talk about the mixture. We say that Vaidhi is based on Shastra, and if we're very careful and attentive to Shastra, following clearly Shastra, then we're doing Vaidhi Bhakti. But what happens when we, Raganugas, we read Shastra, 
we don't find cold, empty words. We find love in the Shastra. So we take the Shastra, we Raganugas, and we turn them into Raganuga. <laughs> they can't help but to become Raganuga artifacts for us. We see the Prem in the world, even where the Vaidis do not see it. It's we see it even in the Shastra and the Vaidi, um, the Vaidi kind of uh, regulations. We see the love there, and we can uh, we can release it ourselves into our own lives. Wow. Very nice. Wow. Wow. Very beautiful. One more thing is there, Guru Dev. When you have a rule, when you know some rule, just sorry, I got inspired now from this. I, I just bounced, bounced into to the sharing here, but it just came. When you have a rule and you know it, when you when you have a rule and you know this this is a rule, and then somehow your lover, like your spiritual master or anyone near to you, breaks that rule because of love, it becomes much more relishable when you knew that that rule was there. <laughs> so somehow I feel if you twist it, then the Vaidhi also adds more taste and flavor to our Raganuga Bhajan. Like, uh, like when Gurudev was speaking of when Param Gurudev gave gave him rice on the kadar. This entire Leela is so ecstatic because you should not take rice on the kadar. <laughs> so the breaking of the rule makes it even more relishable. And so in that way, it's favorable when you mix it. But for that, it's true what you say, but yeah, you have to know the difference and then it becomes relishable. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, for letting me share. <laughs> Subject is many to say in this subject. <laughs> but I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe it. Okay, okay, just. <laughs> Raganuga is a meaning that love of Mother Jasuda. Love of the friend of Krishna. These are Raga. What to learn the loving relation? Krishna wants to confuse and show in the mouth whole in verse. But rag was so deep, love was so deep of Mother Jasoda that he she not accepted. Why? Because my child, how it possible to be a hole in verse and I sit inside? <laughs> <laughs> Mother not accepted. This is Raganva. Mm -hmm. Friend, when they are sitting in the taking picnic, Krishna sit in the middle of the friends and they say, I want to see your tiffin. I want to see your tiffin. And, they, and Krishna is also has a tiffin. Mother Jasuda gives. So they all open the tiffin together and they they eat first, then Krishna is eating, and he gives in the mouth of his friend, and then he eats. It's a love. 
is surprised to Brahma that God, what I worship, is possible that he is eating from the mouth of young, young boys, small boys who is not a God. God can do this. I have to test this boy how he can be a God. He confused. Others can confuse of love. Who is it by thee? Because he don't know that love. You cannot mix it. You cannot mix it. But where Badhi stands, they say, Mahajan say, is a foundation, is a base of the Raga. Badhi is the base. You make the building, you make the foundation, right? Neil. So this foundation is Vadhi. You make the foundation to make the building ten story. The foundation nobody leaves. So Vadhi is a foundation of love, Raga. In basic, you have I have a many useless habits, I have to change. That change is a raga. Now Gopinath give example that my raga make me to drive car and go to see the Radha Kun. My heart bring me to temple to see Radha Mohan because I want to meet and sing for him. This is Raga bringing him to do there. But he not involved here. There is no rule and regulation. You cannot go. But you have a love, you will sure go. If you are not love, why are you going for see some many not go? Why? They have no love. Why Gopinath go? Because he has love. So who has love? They go. Who has no love? They no go. So this is Raga. You have to physically act for love or Raga. The following Raga, Anuga, following the Krishna first is the Krishna. Where who will where you will make Raga? To Krishna is the goal or, or mother is the goal. No, Krishna is the goal. Rag for Krishna. Mother is doing Raga for Krishna. Love of mother, if you want to learn. Then you have to take the shelter of Mother Jasoda. If not, then you have to fix the goal to love Krishna. Right? When you have a rag and you want to learn like a mother love, you will take the shelter of not Krishna. Krishna you want to love. But you want to love like a mother, then you will need mother. To learn how she is loving, that is Raga Nuga. How the friends of Krishna is loving to Krishna. When I want to learn, then I take that. But Krishna has, we have to be develop loving relation with him. You will say, why Krishna? Why not other? Then is not his spiritual. Because he is the super soul. And you are the soul. You want to be in soul, 
how you will not love super soul then you will not understand your soul so prabhu passe bhagavad gita 10 10 you sign contract with krishna that i am i want you i want to love you i want to be with you i don't know anything but i want to love you that is ragan krishna has to be good and this is raganuga motherly love fatherly love friendly love active love i want to be only active i do not love but i want to be active servant but i need money for that and i want to be active servant but i don't want money because i make service in love i want i want to passive with you i don't want to love you i want to order you and you supply me i have many many requirements you fulfill my requirement order and supply these are five types of raganuga and one is conjugal love like radha is loving to krishna there are many gopis are loving to krishna like uh, sakis are also loving to krishna chandravali also love krishna in banda so when i decide that what i follow one follow that is raga fixed when i'm fixed in this then is raga but mahaprabhu give not raga mahaprabhu give more higher that is rupanuga understand that when raganuga practitioners want to go more high more high more high what want to follow chaitanya mahaprabhu in his mood he want to follow then he take only one point bah chaitanya chatamrut is whole chaitanya chatamrit is telling in beginning and ends kaviraj goswami is writing rupa ragunas pade rahu moras why if you keep your consciousness and shelter to rupa and ragunas then you can understand this chaitan bhagavat chaitan chatamrita sorry chaitan chatamrita if not not easy to understand this is rupa anuga 
ಕೃಷ್ಣನ ರೂಪ ಅನ್ನುವ ದನ ರೂಪ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬುಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಹಿ ರೈಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ರಸಾಮೃತ ಹಿ ರೈಟ್ ಒನ್ ಬುಕ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಭಕ್ಚಿಂದು ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಂದು ಟೂ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ರೈಟ್ this his writing is a details of bhakti in rupa anuga line he explain it and his disciple is raghunath das and this raghunath das goswami is know about his guru and he start practicing that way what his guru is doing and what his guru is meditating because how others will know new a uh, new one person will know what my gurudev knows without he, my disciple outsider will not know outsider will never know who is not intimate to me he will never know why what is my gurudev did. so raghunath das was so intimate to rup goswami he knows why guru rupa goswami what he is doing so he he may, Uh, raghunath das goswami make the base for that practice in life and he say what is rupanuga what to do in my way i have a more details but what is the use of details if it is not in practice details is not useful when i not realize it so to make life more easy raghunath das go swami himself practice what his guru is doing and he practice and his teaching so rup go swami books if you read it will be never clear without raghunath das ko swami ko to understand because more details information sir there what practice this information can be crystal clear that idea is only coming that idea only coming by the grace of raghunath das ko sam mm-hmm. so that you have to decide what you want to mix it what you want to practice is a person to person <laughs> <laughs> this position you want to mix and how much you are capable to develop that mixer and what he said that how much is uh, spices and how much sweet you want to give so, that mixer become tasteful a sour or too salty or too salty <laughs> that you have to know you have to be intelligent but at the same time why to go in complication why not to do that the way what is the easiest <laughs> by their realization actually guru dev we were talking the other day with jananda ji okay that's the take down the camera we just part we we had a just the other day we had a very nice sharing 
uh, with Gurudev and, and Jananda Ji that Raghunath Das Goswami mm. reveals the entire Rubanuga cosmology in one verse, and that's the first verse of Vilakusumanjali. He, everything is revealed there in one verse. He reveals the Sambandha, the Abhideya, and the Prayojan of our Manjari Bhav Sadhana. How does he do that? So we were just sharing, so I felt like maybe to share it. So when Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari is in the Nikunja through the foliage, she's watching the Yuvalaki shore in the loving pastimes. And when Mohan bites Radharani's lips, the cut comes on Rupa Manjari's lips. So Rupa Manjari in that moment, what she's doing, she's thinking of Tulsi Manjari. She's saying, where is my Tulsi? She should be here. She should also see this. So she starts looking for her. So that's the, already showing what is our position of us and our Guru Manjari? What is the Sambandha here that's the, that we have to practice? That Guru Manjari is always showing us our path. At the same time, Tulsi Manjari is searching in the, in the forest for her Guru Manjari, wondering where she is, what happened. And when they meet, Tulsi Manjari is saying, Rupa, my dear friend, my dear Saki, you are known in the entire Braj to be the chastest of all wives, but this cut on your lips, maybe it was the king of parrots, something like this, right? And here we also see what is our mood should be. It's all Parakya Bhav. Externally, when we read it, it doesn't really make sense. But when we understand that this is a very confidential Parakya Bhav, what the conversation between the Guru Manjri and the and Tulsi Manjri, and we understand the Parakya mood is so essential in our practice also that we have to understand that this is the mood we have to follow. And so I just felt that, that this verse actually contains everything. And Janandaji said that actually everything is normally revealed in the first verse or in the last, in a book, you know, the introduction and the conclusion. And here in the introduction, actually, if we understand this first verse, then we understand who is Rupa to Raguna. Raguna clearly exposes uh, Rupa Manjri and his position as Lucy Manjri. So I, I I always come back to this first verse because it has um, it's so condensed. It's showing also the way the Prayojan, the pro actually in the end, what is what is the Prayojan is actually to be there, to be in that service, to be there in the Nikunja, and and to be there. When, when the divine couple is engaging, this all is, is in the first verse, like, um, right, Janandaji? Yes. This is Gopinatha Maya revealing to us. No, you, Guru, <laughs> Guru Dev revealing it and Janandaji increasing that. So, I'm just a parrot. No, 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 no. Gopinatha is very kind to us, you know. He did to us. So actually, this. Uh, Okay. Have to, if we know Gurudev, say if we know Gurudev, we see the disciple who is very close with Gurudev, then we could know Gurudev. Mm -hmm. uh, externally, we cannot do this. <clears throat> this is very interesting. Rupa Goswami is, uh, is um, Abhidaya Acharya. So he did so much rule and regulation for us, but we don't know how to how to apply it. Externally, we can do this, but Ragnatas Goswami internally how to following to this. This is amazing. So this is this is Virapak Sumanjali. Therefore, Guru Tables has show us internally or how to meditate. 
in this Raganuga practice. This is if we if we read Rupa Goswami's books, it may be difficult. But if we read or hear from Rashka Vaishnava, then more easy to understand how how to apply uh, in this uh, Sadaka Deha. This is my observation from Gurudev and other other Vaishnavas. Rupa Goswami, Rupa Goswami is an impossible situation, a paradox. He's writing a book for us, Pati Rasamrita Sindhu, full of words about what you cannot put into words. <laughs> and that's why, as Gurudev says, the devotee, Raghunatha Das Goswami, has to come and show, live it fully. Wow. Rupa Goswami tries to put into words, but it's something you can't say. You can only live. That's why the mm -hmm. devotee is so essential. Huh? What happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> what you are doing there? <laughs> How much realization <laughs> in short American uh, tour? <laughs> no, your lotus feet, your lotus feet are right here in front of me. I see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the day I see you, I give you name of Dava because you are very close to Krishna. You will go by Braja Bhumi, <laughs> then you will realize wow. what to do. And wow. it happens to you. Wow. You are a very difficult person because of so much knowledge, so much respect and all qualities. But now you totally change, you become Rupa <laughs> You see now Narayan Maharaj is telling step by step. Now read further. Go on. Mm. Yes, Gurudev. Gurudev, I want to share something also. Oh, oh. that is Sadhu Maharaj also there. Wow. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> when we discuss him now. Yes. Happy birthday to you first. Two days before. No yeah. problem. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. Yeah. Yeah. When we discuss the subject now, Vairi and Raganuga Bhakti, we could get the impression that there is a conflict between these two kinds of bhakti. But actually, like Gurudev explained, the Vaidhi that is very connected to the Aishwarya Gyan is the foundation. It is never said that we have to wipe it out. We listen this kind of knowledge, Aishwarya Gyan, it is covered by the sweetness. It is not wiped out or destroyed or something. So why this Aishwarya Gyan or why Vaidhi is the foundation? Because in the beginning we try to find out who is God. We have many questions. And the job of the Acharyas is to clear all these doubts by explaining Shastra to us, that we understand, oh yes, Krishna is Bhagavan, and that we can assign searches over. Now I want to start loving relationship, but it doesn't mean we have to wipe out the Aishwarya. 
we only have to cultivate the raga, the feelings, that one day this Aishwarya and this um, Vaidhi is covered with the feelings. So I don't want that we think there's a conflict between Vaidhi and Raga. It is the foundation and it has to be covered by Raga, by feelings. Yeah. That I wanted to share. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. So, as on this point, yes, very good. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti states that the idea of Rukmini's marriage in Mathura is against Shastra and has been told only in Gopal Tapani Upanishad. And actually, when Gopal Tapani Upanishad said Mathura, says Mathura, it's referring to Dwarak. So Tamal Krishna Maharaj comments, is this because Mathura and Dwaraka are more or less the same? Narayan Maharaj, in this regard, the same. From our study of Srimad Bhagavatam and all other authentic Bhakti scriptures, we know that the idea of Rukmini's marriage in Mathura is not authentic. Chakravarti <coughs> Thakur will explain this later on, but he is mentioning it now in order to make the point clear. Which limbs are practiced in Raganuga Bhakti? Which are essential and which are disregarded? To answer this, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has described five categories of devotional practices for a person with genuine greed. First, Abhishta Bhava Mai, absorption in one's Siddha Bhava, the mood of a man. What is Siddha Bhava? Siddha means uh, affection. Someone who is affected. In this case, Manjari. Baba means uh, mood or feeling. So someone who has a Manjari Baba in, in Siddha Swarupa means uh, in this Abhishta Baba Mai means uh, someone who is perfection person, perfection manjari, that's Baba. Like Gurudev said, Swarupa and Swarupa Siddhi. 
Sama I did not say Prabhupada. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also you are saying you found it. Prabhupada. You found it. You found it. <laughs> so someone who has a Swarupa Siddhi and some that person has a specific Baba, especially this uh, Naran Maharaj talking about Manjari. So therefore, this this Manjari Baba, this is a, a someone who is too much absorbing Siddha Swarupa. And uh, that observation, that Baba, it's called uh, Siddha Baba. That's my understanding. <laughs> if somebody could uh, answer, please. Or I should add it. The only word I, I, I had immediately in the mind is realized. Perfection means realized. You realize your Baba when you live in it. So the thing is this, that without realization is nothing, then Krishna will never become good. What you will realize? Many said to realize Guru. How you can realize there? If you have a goal, Krishna, then you, you, you need a Siddha Bhava. Without fixing in Krishna, goal will never, you not need the Siddha. And Siddhi will not come. Then what happened? Then it becomes Mayavad philosophy. It's not Siddha. Without coming to Krishna, it will never, perfection will come. Because I will not realize my soul. I will not realize my soul, Sarup. Why I say to see ten, ten? First, you sign with Krishna that you start fixed to live in that. This is Siddhisthiti. This is the, the moving in the right direction. If not, then we will move in material direction. That is no way than ritual injection. Because then Shastra and the injunction of Shastra, we have to stay there. When you want to go free of this Shastra and injunction of Shastra, you have to totally fix it with Krishna. Then the mercy of Krishna, your soul will be identified, then you will see the form of Krishna, then Sarup will identify. When you will not see the form of Krishna, Sarup you will never see. And Sarup is not coming by Krishna. It's, Sarup is coming from the Take Raga Bhakti, Raga, Raga Nuka. Motherly Saru will come when you will follow mother. When you will follow friend, you will friend Saru will come. Is Raga Nuka. 
then you can feel it. But Krishna, you will feel, na? Right? And Rupanuga is totally fixed. Radha and Krishna. There is no out, uh, more higher, more stage Rupanuga. There is only two. There is no mother <laughs> and, and no friend. Radha and Krishna. Only two are there in Rupanuga. All are there, you know everyone, but only two has to be merited. Krishna is already there. You come up to here. But you need your sarup, na? So I say, when Easter sarup comes, then your sarup coming. When Easter sarup will not come, your sarup cannot come. So now I have to decide Rupanuga. Raghunath Das Goswami is teaching the practice. I want to follow the mood of Radhika. I want to be a dasi of Radhika to forget for some time Krishna, but I am thinking before direct to know him. I want to forget because I want to take the mood of Radhika. I have to go in her mood to follow. Right? I want to go in her mood to follow. So when I become Dasi of Radhika, then Krishna's lover is Radhika's lover is Krishna. The change here change. Before not change. When you make a lover of Radhika and you follow, then your your Krishna is also there. What you are thinking for. Right? If you not take the shelter 100%, 99% not working then. Then some snare. Samsaneha means Sakiva. One percent dagger minus. Then one percent means Krishna is also there in one percent. This is Sakiva. Some, be some, something. A ten percent is only Radhika. Ninety percent is open. Then it, it will become be something. Ninety percent place where weakness now is taken. So I am Sanchari Bhav. When the bhakti will come hundred percent, only Radha. That is up blocking myself in my way. Then is a asthai bhav. This asthai bhav. Is Siddhi. When we not go out from my Sai Bhav, 
दैट से परफेक्शन स्वरूप एंड स्वरूप सिद्धि एंड दिस इज प्रभु पाद राइट इन पेज फोर इट कैन कम न्यू परंपरा ही में टू मूव इन दिस डायरेक्शन बिकॉज इज ए रूपानुमा All details he gives shortly, and he says, "Rup, this is the new parampara. This old parampara for the reviving again. This is the intimate parampara, but." Parampara, not to again break up, but this is the parampara, a teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Ninety-nine percent, ninety-eight percent, samsne. This guy is so naughty and clever. He will enter with two, two, two person, one person. Adik, a Thai bhav. We can only get Sai if we follow Rai. <laughs> you see, this is the point. One hundred percent. So that way, hundred percent to make seva is very important. Sadhan bhakti is also important to change my activities and that person to come to the goal. So mix sadhana is important, but ritual injunction careful. Not influenced by ritual injunction, and with the that one that I forget, I cannot know much that area. There are them. Yeah, they are back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, read more. I was just thinking when you are doing education in this world, first you are learning all these theoretic things. So in Germany, at least, it's like this: you are going to school half time, mm. and half time then. You are practicing what you actually learned theoretically before. Right. So by the time, because of your practice, you forget all this theory because many things of the theory they do not even fit mm. in your practice. <laughs> But they were basically meant to bring you to this practice. Go back, right? If you will sit here, yeah, yeah. back over there. Go, you go back there. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, sit here. Yeah. Some he, he will sit near them. Yeah. So that means in the beginning, mm. theory is more strong mm. than practice. Yeah. But in the end, practice is covering all the theory. Realization. You realize by doing practice. That that. 
realization will never come if you not practice yourself. You want to realize, you have to come in practice. What you want to do. Collecting is no meaningful. Your practice is meaningful. What small theory you practice? It's called applied science. Applied science. Yeah. This is a very good process. When you the practice, you all start living there, that realization is your subject. Other thing was no subject with without realization. Read more. Mm. Yes, Gurudev. So, uh, second category of devotional practices is Abhishta Bhava Sambandhi. Those practices related to one's cherished mood. Such practices... How Sambandhi? What I relish and related, like she is. She is a daughter. She knows very well who is my mother. And he relishes Mother Lila. He relishes it. Father Lila, with his father. With brother, he relished the naughtiness and the sweetness of his brother. You relish this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, your son is so kind and simple, and sometimes he becomes like your brother naughty. <laughs> so you relish it. You are relishing. You are feeling that. That's it. You feel it. You practical it. That is Abhishta Bhav Sambandhi. Now go on. Hmm. Such is not difficult. It's not very difficult. Only difficult when we say. Sanskrit word. Raga <laughs> <laughs> Bhakti, loving relation is not difficult. Mm. We make complicated to say some words uh, that uh, you not understand. <laughs> Saying that is very complicated. <laughs> Why they want to give key to you? These are the key. Yeah. <clears throat> Such practices surely deliver the desired goal. This practice, what you doing, normal life, is a normal life. This practice is will deliver. 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 The desired goal. Goal. Mm. Now you. Is is more easy or not with this one? Go on. Hmm. Third, Abhishta Bhava Anukula. Hmm. Those practices which are favorable to one's cherished mood. Yeah. 
what I like. I stay there. I like my son. I like my husband. I stay with my husband and son. This is more astonishing to me. But it's not that mother and father not friends to me. I also like this, but it's more closeness I feel there. Understand? I more feel to live in this circumstance. Understand? Mm. Go on. Fourth, abhista bhava avirudha. And those one. those practices which are neutral, neither favorable nor opposed to one's desired mood. Yeah. Like a neutral. Today I go to Radha. I don't know what is there, right? I see your mood. <laughs> My brother say okay, I say okay. <laughs> but I went neutrally there. But it was too hot, too boring. <laughs> and I come back. <laughs> I went to the restaurant. It was too spicy, too boring. That's not very comfortable. <laughs> right or not? Same Yes. It's not somebody, it's not interesting <laughs> thing happen. You know? This is uh, so easy, right? <laughs> but Sanskrit is so difficult to understand. <laughs> yes, go on. <laughs> and the fifth, Abhishta Bhava Virudha. Hmm. Those practices which are detrimental to the attainment of one's desired mood. Mm. You understand this very easily. <laughs> you understand or not? Yeah? Explain. Explain. You explain, Gopina. What was the detrimental? I know, understand also this English word, so I cannot explain. My English is not very good. Yeah, uh -huh. those practices which are detrimental to the attainment of one's desired mood. So, question here is, what is my desired mood? First, I have to know that. What do I desire? If I desire material life, material wealth, then I will always try to stay away from spiritual people. <laughs> they are <laughs> detrimental. They will change my mood. <laughs> but if I want spiritual feelings, I want to grow spiritually, then I will choose that circumstances, that environment, those people who are not detrimental to achieve my desired mood. Now we know that most of us want to develop a particular mood, to follow the mood that schools of Radharani, so then we have to we see what is detrimental to Radharani. And now I have to use one Sanskrit word. I know Gurudev says not to use. But what is detrimental to Radharani? Her name is Radha. And detrimental to her is Aparadha. <laughs> Aparad is make, to make offenses, right? We know all about, oh, don't make any Aparad. To any Vaishnava, don't make any Aparad. You know, be always careful. But actually, if we if we little bit break this word, aparada means everything which is detrimental to Radharani. That is aparad. So it should always be. It should always be conscious that whatever I do, 
it should be not detrimental to what she is doing, what she's for feeling, what she's wanting, what is her desire. And that only Gurudev can tell us what is her desire. <laughs> <laughs> One beloved only wants to give the love to his lover. That is only happiness. How much I can give my love to you? And the, the followers of Radhika means the mid-servant or fans or what you say, Dasi or uh, Sachari or Manjari. She wants to, that what is her desire? How I can work on and serve to her to make happy to her? She has only one thing, how, what I do, that she become happy. Mm -hmm. Are bhai, you are searching for the God, and you find it, you sign it, and you make the goal, and now your desire is changed. Why are you doing this change? Also, in behind this meaning that she wants to give love and I want to learn that love. So I change my desire. I cannot understand him, how I can love him. I have to find out one highest sweet beloved of him that she will keep me all the time. And all moments of my life will be <laughs> learning from her how to fulfill, make happy to her. <laughs> that is your kind. You are all set. You nobody can deviate you. She will protect. She will care. Like mama, mama lap you sit down, and you think somebody can beat you or kill you or do. You. Mama will die first to protect you. Right, or not? So she is like this. You don't need to bother. Many problem will come for this, but never leave the mama lap. Many kaka and pipi will make your clothes dirty, but mama will never think he no, she will take you alone. And we need powder and bath. Nicely perfume, new clothes, <laughs> nothing happened. No problem. And she's so heavy sometimes, she bring to doctor, to the baby, who put putting injection and baby is crying and she is holding. <laughs> Ooh, doctor. I'm holding. <laughs> so this way, she her love who is so you cannot imagine. That love, that feeling, we never want to forget that. That is the speech. That is to, to develop and live that way. That is the perfection.
of our guru you see the life of nanak dev he was lying on that one place one pujari come what you doing man you are sleeping and putting feet and shiva linga mm. are you crazy man i don't know where he put his feet shiva linga come <laughs> you can see how connection was there how would become divine in the thinking of the so rasik he was there siddha purus was there this is the perfection of this life he die he is still there he is living the person who realizes it he never die he is a divine he become divine he is beyond out of material that is his vision right So Guru, this is this is Nanak. Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak. Yes. <clears throat> so when he went to Makkah, Makkah, there he do with the feet, you know. After somebody told him why you this is the side of the uh, religion home, you know. He said, okay, I will move here. I will come there. Yeah. Yes. So, Radhe Radhe, welcome, welcome. Come, sir. Give the place. There is a place. Yes. 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 Life is useless if I don't practice the spirituality. Our children will not remember. Your child, your disciple, nobody remember if you are not enlightened to others. If you are not enlightened, how you can enlighten? I am living in darkness. I light, and light is in the love. Light is the pure love and divine love. And without divine kapur, you cannot understand. That is. One is a love, one is a savior. Both have to be there. If the love is not there, what who will know the savior? If the same love is there, love will save him. And. You go to the God, to the Savior, protector. He will say, "Impossible to understand me." Go to the love, to love. Then come to me. When the love will come, you will see. This is the only way, my dear. Thank you. Seven minutes late. Very <laughs> nice. <are>. Thank you. <laughs> Lesson class one hour late, no meaning. <laughs> But if the Japan is a two late. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, Russian class is there. And Damodar 
will give class in Russian. Jai. Hi, Oscar. And Radha Charan Baba will translate us in Hindi. English. English. We will listen to him. Amoni. English. 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 I will. We will listen. Listening you. And you will give class and sharing and talking. Jai Ho. <coughs> and you listen how beautiful he will do, how he is fixed in his nature. Yeah, that I want to say you are in Sanchari or Sai. You understand Sanchari or Sai? Brother, 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 brother,